GMAC Students Speak is a recurring mental health storytelling series that takes place three to four times per year. It expands on what happens in DMAX clubs to a greater audience. College students share their personal mental health journeys, talk about the need for a connection with DMAX, and the positive impact DMAX clubs have had on their lives. Meet Flynn Jones, who is currently a senior at the University of Pittsburgh and a former DMAX Foundation intern, share her story. I am going to um, share my mental health story with you. Um, I have had a relationship with both depression and anxiety for as long as I could remember. I came about my mental health issues around the time of middle school. At such a young age and at a time when prioritizing mental health wasn't a great issue, I was confused about the way that I often felt. I was unsure of why some days I felt so nervous and on edge from the moment I woke up to the moment I went back to sleep. And I was unsure of why some days carrying out even the simplest of tasks felt impossible. I thought to myself that there must be something wrong with me for feeling the way I do. And therefore, I never spoke a word about my depression or anxiety to anyone around me. My issues with mental health followed me into high school. I struggled day to day with feelings of sadness and hopelessness. I lost interest in doing many of the things that I once loved to do. And I found myself dreading games and practices for sports that I loved playing since I was a little kid. I also found myself lacking the desire to hang out with my friends. Every day felt like a burden and getting myself out of bed in the morning to take on the many tasks of a day felt nearly impossible. As my senior year of high school approached and I began applying to colleges and universities, I decided that I wanted to go as far away as possible because I thought that um, a new city and new people would help me feel better. After learning that I was accepted um, to the University of Pittsburgh, I was eager to leave and start a new life for myself uh, in a place that was new to me, a place where I was guaranteed this kind of fresh start. After my arrival, I was quick to realize that my hope of bettering my mental health by moving to a new city was naive. I was slow to make new friends and I did not have the greatest relationship with my freshman year roommate. Feelings of excitement and eager, eagerness soon diminished, and I was left feeling alone and lost in a city that I knew nothing about. After finishing my freshman year, I entertained the idea of transferring back home. After a summer of reflection, however, I decided that I wanted to go back to school and give succeeding as a student at Pitt my best shot. I wanted to prove to myself that I was capable of achieving my goals while managing my mental health issues. I am currently a senior at the Univers University of Pittsburgh with an anticipated graduation date of May 1st, 2022. Not only have I made it to my senior year, but I have met some of my closest friends, fallen in love with the city of Pittsburgh has to offer, and proved to myself that through perseverance, I am strong enough to achieve the goals that I set out for myself. As I grow, learn, and live to experience life day to day, I've learned the importance of carrying on even though I'm struggling and that my struggles do not prevent me from accomplishing the many things that I want to achieve. One thing um, they don't tell those who struggle with mental health is that you cannot run from it. Mental health issues follow us wherever we go. And not until I was in college did I realize the importance of talking about my mental health issues. I found the courage to speak openly and honestly about the way that I felt. And as I, be as I began to um, talk more about my mental health, um, I dis discovered my passion for it um, and my desire to help individuals who also struggled with their mental health. And that is why I decided to test out working for a mental health focused organization like the Max Foundation. Um, this past summer, I had the incredible opportunity of interning with DMAX, and during my time with DMAX, I was able to aid in the development of DMAX clubs at various colleges and universities, clubs where students could meet to talk to one another about their mental health and share um, their personal and truthful mental health stories. I was also help, um, able to help DMAX further, th further their mission of creating conversations for college students um, who struggle with mental health concerns. Though my internship only lasted the summer, the lessons I learned and the ad advocacy I pursued were some of my greatest accomplishments. To this day, I am extremely honored to have had the opportunity to work with the foundation with such an important mission, a mission that is very, very important to me. On October 11, 2021, I lost a very good friend of mine to suicide. Zach was a student at Penn State University, one of the kindest and smartest individuals I have ever met. And he was a young man with a lot of life still left to live. A lot of good thing left a, a lot of good things left to experience too in the months after his loss i have found myself grappling with my own feelings of grief confusion sadness and the impossible desire to turn back time 
Each day since his passing has been a struggle for me, but as someone who struggles with mental health, I know what Zach is feeling. As I learn to live with this new reality, my passion for mental health advocacy grows stronger. As, a, as an advocate of mental health, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of understanding mental, mental health and the way it affects individuals. I also cannot emphasize enough the importance of sharing your story, your feelings, and your thoughts with anyone who will listen. Whether this be a friend, a family member, a therapist, or even a stranger, speak loudly and honestly about your mental health and do not ever be afraid to admit that you are struggling. You deserve to be heard and understood, and there are always people who will be willing to listen. There are always people who will understand what you are going through. If you struggle with mental health issues, I want you to know that you are never alone in the way you feel. And if you just find the courage to share your story, you will inspire people just like you, people who struggle with the same thoughts and feelings as yourself. My best friend saved my life once by taking me for a drive, and I am extremely thankful for this every day. During this ride, she said to me, no matter what problems we face, there are always solutions and the dark days never last forever. We just have to find ways to survive no matter what. These words, although simple, are ones that I return to every single day of my life. Lifetime, we always find ourselves moving forward and amid our own struggles, we must find it within ourselves to not only help ourselves, but to help those around us too. We, always, we must always find ways to survive no matter what. Thank you guys for listening to my story.